From a distance, they all look pretty much the same. Those pristine red and white uniforms in the near-perfect Arizona sunshine. But everyone here has a story. Something I said a long time ago, 20, 25 years ago, this would be a great bucket list thing and, and I really forgot about it. Dozens of folks on these fields at Red's Fantasy Camp could say exactly the same thing. But that part of the story that Donnie Deaton shares with so many people here took a different turn for Donnie and his wife Susan in the summer of 2021. So um, I have stage four pancreatic cancer. I've had it for now for 14 months. We were told at the doctor's office that, that he had pancreatic cancer and they walked us down to the oncologist's office, which is down the hallway. And within a few minutes, you find out he's dying. It's overwhelming at times. Um, but then you have to live. In some circles, Donnie Deaton doesn't need his name stitched on the back of his jersey for people to know who he is. They're very genuine and very, very helpful. Double D. Hey. He'd made a name for himself on the baseball field a long time before he ever suited up at the Red Spring Training Complex in Goodyear. He's a member of the Softball Hall of Fame just up the road from Great American Ballpark in Dayton. I'm just a normal guy. I love to play ball. I love to coach people. I love to teach people how to play ball. I didn't realize that so many people really cared about me that much to do what they did. And uh, I am extremely grateful for what they've done uh, and, and, and humbled all at the same time. They are his teammates and friends from the Dayton softball community. What they did was a surprise. One that, with Susan's help, was kept under wraps until just the right time. A few months ago, Don was informed of a major cancer diagnosis. True to his character, Don continues to be a great teammate, great friend, and a hell of a softball player. I am terrible at keeping secrets. I, I, I can't keep a secret from him to save my life, but I managed to keep my mouth shut, so he was surprised. It was a great moment. We're going to send you the, the Cincinnati Reds baseball heaven, Goodyear, Arizona, January 15th to 22nd. All the people that you see out here, who you're wondering why they're here, they're here because of you. Because you're a great friend, a great person. Oh, I started by bald like a baby. You know, it, it was, they, they filmed it, and uh, it's, it was just a, an amazing thing. Not long after his diagnosis, Donnie and Susan's friends had all chipped in nearly $9,000 total to make that bucket list baseball trip Donnie talked about so many years ago a reality. What got me is is the all these guys that went around and gave 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. When you think of it that way, you know, all those people that said, I want to be a part of it, it's amazing. This group of guys and men and women have been awesome to me. I'm fighting because I want to continue to play the rest of my life. And that will be a very long life. <laughs> Roughly six months after his friends gave him the news about Goodyear and barely a week removed from a debilitating chemo treatment, number 44, Donnie Deaton dug into the batter's box in Arizona. There's nothing like coming out here and playing baseball just like a Cincinnati Red. My wife has a, had a hard time understanding it, you know, until she seen it that when I walk on the field, I'm 12 years old again. He gets to go out on that field and he forgets to forget everything else that's going on. And and I forget about it too because he, you know, he hits he hits a double and and I get a cheer for him and he's playing with his heart and he's playing with his soul and um, he's, he's playing great. Everything else in the world stops. The cancer's gone. You know, uh, anything to do with anybody, it's gone. I'm 12 years old again, and I'm playing baseball. I'm playing softball, and I'm with a group of guys that love you and want to continue to play. For an hour, two hours, it's all gone. I don't have cancer. 
I'm just one of the guys out there playing ball and having a great time. Being able to do that and make new friends and meet people and have this experience. We, we, we knew it was going to be fun and everyone said it would be, but it's been beyond what we expected it to be. It's really a blast. This has been the most amazing time of my life. This great experience was put on me and, and today I'm here and it is the greatest time of my life. It really is.